All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to put the floor pans in in 30 seconds. Check it out. I got the floors installed and it only took 30 seconds. There they are. Pretty sweet. Now we gotta get the, uh, the paint on it and we'll be good to go. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Just joking guys. Just messing around, seeing how they look in there and gotta figure out where to cut them. And I'm thinking, do I, do I lap weld or butt weld? I'm thinking lap because I'm not, uh, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. So <laughs> I think lap weld might be a little easier and a little more sturdy. Um, give us a more heavy duty, secure, solid weld because it's overlapped, right? Versus a butt weld where it's right up against it. If you're lucky and you cut it correctly, which I probably won't the first time. I think lap weld on the floors should be fine. This isn't a concourse restoration. We just gotta get the holes covered up so our feet aren't hanging out. What do you guys think? Lap weld, butt weld, what works best? Does it matter on the floors? Let me know. And I noticed some of you guys mentioned that, yeah, you can pull this thing out of here. So I started looking a little closer and this, this front piece, this whole metal piece comes out. There's two bolts here. And there's a bolt here. And there's a bolt like this on the other side. So there's four bolts holding this in. And, you know, there's the bolt that goes to the front. I've already got that disconnected. That's where the wiper motor was attached to those three, three holes there. And this bracket is connected to this. So it looks like four bolts and this thing is going to slide off. Which will be kind of cool because on the back side there's a bunch of rust and dirt. And it'll just give us even better access back here for grinding and sanding and filling in the holes where it's rusted. Putting in some new seam sealer. Getting out that old fire board and getting it cleaned up. Some guys said that might be asbestos. I'm not sure. I'm going to be very careful with it. I'm gonna wear my respirator and it looks like it should come all out in one piece. Um, it's just got these little tabs that are holding it. There's about six of them or so, I think. And you can kind of see them here. So there's one two, three, it's probably another couple, four, five. So I'm thinking about pushing them from this side out. Take these two screws out that we're holding part of that air conditioning bracket. So I'll do that after I get the, the dash out. Let's get this thing off first. guys are saying uh, I'll probably never get this thing back together. <laughs> and I gotta prove them wrong guys. We gotta prove them wrong. It is a serious challenge to do something like this. Uh, not only does it take a lot of time, energy, effort, um, patience it takes money uh, and you know there's other things happening in my life that that 
and take time away from the project. So, you know, it's, uh, I feel very fortunate that I'm able to do this right now. And I'm gonna do it as, as much as I can. Um, probably gonna jump around on some other projects just for fun, you know, maybe a first start on the Imperial, if we can get into it. Maybe do a first start on the power wagon. Stuff like that in between finishing up the dragon. Um, Cause the dragon's gonna be, you know, I was saying I'd like to get it done in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but that reality is not really feasible. Um, it would be if I had unlimited resources and money. Um, you know, I could hire people to come out here every day for the next 30 days and get it done. But um, that's not really a reality that I have. So I'm just going to keep chipping away at it here and there. And we'll get it done. That's uh, something I want to do. Um, hopefully, let's try to be real, a little more realistic. You know, can we get it done in six months? That would be awesome. But it's a learning experience. Uh, not just for me, but for other people that are watching these videos. Some of you guys have done this before and you guys leave your advice in comments below and I appreciate that. And I'm sure a lot of the other people do too. So Let's keep doing that. Like I read a comment about being able to take this off so you know I didn't think it was possible um, but the guys said yeah a couple guys said yeah this will come off so here we are taking it off all right those are out I'm gonna go ahead and get that one out and this other one out and this thing should pull on out of here. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, one more. Look at that. Alright, I'm gonna get the drill on this one. Try to anyway. Pretty wild. Pretty wild, pretty wild. So for now, I can just put these back in here, bolt them on. These I'll have to, I'm just gonna put them right here for now. When we go to sand and blast it, I'll take these out and mark them. Cool, could probably take this bracket and stuff off and get this all blasted, painted, cleaned up. But yeah, there's some there's some dirt and rust in here. Got better access now to this, for sure. A lot better access. I think I might pull that brake pedal off and that gas pedal too. And we'll get any of these things out of here we can get. We're gonna have to buy some new rubber grommets and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure, I think that's where the antenna came through. All right, the teardown continues. <laughs> Up, 
There it is. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put my mask on and see if we can knock that board out of there. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at all that dirt and rust and stuff that fell out of there. Roach egg. That's a junk. Okay. This thing. This is going to come off pretty easy. We just got to push, knock these from the other side, I think. And this thing's just going to come right off. Get those two screws out of there. Let me get my respirator on real quick. Stand by. All right, I think we got them all. Let's see if this thing comes off. What do you think guys, is that just uh, cotton? There's some kind of uh, asbestos. I don't know, either way I want to get it out of here. I don't want that blowing around in the cab while I'm driving it. All right, there it is. All right, guys, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Wow, it is wide open in here now. Pretty much, we we'll get this, maybe get this thing off of here. Look how rusty it is. We can get that cleaned up, painted, get this brake lever off of here, get that cleaned up and painted. Same thing for the gas pedal. Get rid of any of the rust that we can. You know, we'll take all these little clips and brackets and screws and stuff out of here. All this stuff is gonna come out and uh, we'll either sandblast in here or we'll hit it real good with the sander. Take these out, get in there and clean up real good inside. And keep getting it cleaned up, guys. It's all about uh, taking it down to bare bones on this one. I keep saying it, it's a learning experience for me. You know, this truck, probably not worth it. It's not worth the time and the effort and the, the money but I'm trying to do it as economical as possible. And in the process, I'm learning. Um, so if I screw something up on this truck, you know, I'm not gonna be heartbroken, you know? So I can fix it, we can fix it, um, patch it, seal it, whatever. And that's the goal is to try to get, try to eliminate as much of the rust as possible, spray up in all the corners and the the holes and everywhere we can with uh, OSFO, rust preventer, and then uh, spray paint up in there as best we can. 
get it clean, patch the holes, start putting it back together, get it painted. It's going to be awesome. And uh, once all that's done, you know, we're not going to have any dust or old fibers or dirt flying around. It's going to be pretty sweet. All right, so I just hit this with some WD-40 just to keep the dust down. And we'll scrape this off of here. All right, I got that cleaned up pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this bracket off here. It's all rusted. It's got the brake pedal connected to it. I'm gonna leave the brake pedal on it for now and we'll disconnect it here. You can kind of see the slots are a little offset. You know, there's a slot there so they can adjust it when they put it on. So when we go to put it back on, we'll try to get it somewhere in that same area. Hopefully it'll line up properly. Those are fixed, so those shouldn't be a problem. So those two need to come off from the outside. These two from in here. And then we'll go ahead and get this accelerator pedal off. Accelerator pedal is half inch. I went ahead and sprayed some WD-40 on those threads. And this is a 9 dropping all over the place. Where did that go? Probably should have done these two first because that thing's gonna go falling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it from here. There we go. That'll work. Got it. There it is. A lot of rust. We'll get that all cleaned up and painted. That'd be nice. We will put these back on real quick. They went there. back on too. Alright, there it is. Went ahead and put the bolts back in as it came out. This was sitting in there like that. Pulled those two off and those two. There it is. We'll take this off at some point. That thing will probably just pop off and that thing will slide out of there. We can take it off and get all the rust off of it, clean it up, paint it. Probably put some grease inside of there so it swings nicely. I'm not sure if there's a bearing or anything in there. Probably not. Um, let's get these three off. This thing should pop out. All right, let's do this. simple huh pretty simple 
slides in there like that. Boom. Pretty simple. We're gonna need a new pedal. I cut through that one when I was cutting the floors out <laughs> by accident. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in here for now. I'm just trying to put all the bolts back where they came out if possible. Um, on, and uh, when we go to blast this or whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll move them and take photos and label them. For now, this is a quick fix. All right, let's keep going. Let's just keep taking as much stuff out as we can. Um, most of these things are dry rot. They're hard. I mean, they should be flexible. That one's not too bad, but uh, some of them are dried up. I'm not too worried about messing them up. We'll get new ones. But there's some areas like this. You know, I don't even know why they put that there, but there's not one there or there. That one's in pretty good shape. Hopefully these little things are cheap because there's quite a few of them all around. You know, there was some here. Hopefully there's a kit you can buy all those things. I don't know. This thing too, uh, where the window wiper went, it's kind of like, this is kind of like a sticky, I might have to make this like out of a seam sealer or a gasket maker. I'm not sure. If you guys know what this is, comment below. Is this some kind of seam sealer or a gasket maker? It's pretty flexible and gooey. It's almost like a, a tar type stuff. So let me know if he knows what that, if you guys know what that is. I need one here and here. So a lot of this stuff around the cab, I'm gonna take off and we're just gonna keep digging in. Like we're gonna take this plate off. We're gonna take that foam out. That foam is all dry rot and nasty and uh, see the powder coming off of it we'll take that plastic thing out of there keep taking all this stuff out some of the seam sealer original seam sealer is still good like that that seems like it's pretty good um, but then there's some of it that is completely deteriorated rotted out dry rod and whatever right here you can kind of see it just falling out so all that's gonna have to come out wow look at the bare metal right there process guys it's a process look at all this stuff and there's rust underneath some of it so, and then you can see here where it's rusted through so we'll have to Fix that up. Yeah, some of it's pretty tough, but uh, there's rust behind it. So, see these holes here? Probably just have to take all that. Big hole right there. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> K2 
Can of worms, guys. Can of worms. All right, we got a couple of uh, three eighths bolts here that we need to get off, and this thing will come out. Boom. Boom. gasket here fault dry rotted seam seal right there it's all rusted and dry rotted flaking off mm. Mm -mm -mm. let's go ahead and get these visors off of here Right, guys we're getting there a lot of stuff coming out still a few things to go I don't know if we need to take these off or not I do want to get the doors off um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take them off today or not but I want to get the doors off Darren was saying maybe mark them drill a hole through here so they're they're marked where they need to go um i don't know what do you guys think about that and or do is that where we take them off or do you take them off here i don't know if you guys could comment below let me know do we take them off at the door? Or do we take them off at the body? The cab. Need to get this out of here. Little light dome switch. There's lots of little things. Let's open this up. Let's see what's behind there. Stand by. I keep telling myself, man, this is crazy. You're taking everything apart, but it's, I just feel like I'm learning from it and why not, you know? Why not take it all apart and try to make it as perfect as possible, you know? I do enjoy taking things apart. <laughs> uh, and I like the idea of putting them back together, it's just, 
to get there. <clears throat> we gotta get there. Man, those are... It's a big Phillips head. This is interesting because this is like a fresh air vent, right? So they have that over there, which is a fresh air vent, or that's where the air, fresh air comes in, but it goes through this whole system. So I guess if you didn't have air conditioning, if you got a truck without air conditioning, then you would have a fresh air vent right here that you would manually open and close, I guess. So this is just the delete for it. I think. Pretty sure. All right, so we're gonna need to scrape this off and do lots of scraping and cleaning on everything. Um, what else? What else did we miss? There's a big glob of... I don't know if that's just where they... Or there's, uh, oh, there's a hole there, or that's just where they spilt a little glob. So I'm thinking we'll, to get this right, we'll probably cut up in here somewhere. That way we have access in here and we can clean all that out. Spray some, uh, oh, check that out. Factory, pretty sure that's factory. Factory drip run wow interesting hmm that's the first one I've seen I think it's interesting what are these two things holding I wonder there's two screws right here I don't know what they're holding there's nothing on the back side that I can see there might be something in there. Hmm, that's interesting. Unless that's part of the fresh air delete. Maybe there was a bracket that went there and a little handle open and close. Maybe. Maybe that's what that is. Whew. Can't wait to get this completely cleaned. Possibly sandblasted. Check this out, guys. So this truck, I think, I'm pretty sure this is a 74. There's this maintenance performed. I guess this is from the factory. Pretty sure. Not positive, but... You know, it doesn't... I don't see any marks on it, but... There is a date, September 72. I'm, I'm assuming that's when this tag was made. I'm not sure if they put that on at the factory or not. This, I almost want to take this off. If we can. If we can get that off of there without it getting messed up. Because it's already coming off. I didn't do that. That was already like that. So it looks like there's almost... It almost looks like there's two... I'm going to see if I can get this off. And hopefully we can save it. To 
need to try to get this off because it's in pretty bad shape. But it's peeling. Dang it. Shoot. I don't know if this is critical to have on the truck or not. Or if you can have it reprinted somehow. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I'd like to pull it off because it's, I mean, I didn't do this. This is already coming off. See, see that right there? I did just start to pull here just a little bit. And it's, and it's sticking. So I'm hoping I can take that off. Is that an issue? There's another tag here that you can't even really see. So I'm assuming that these can come off. This one, if we can pull this off and clean this up. Let me know what you guys think about that. Can we get this off? Can we have it reprinted? Or do we just take it off and throw it away? Does it not? Does it not? Do you not have to have this on here? I don't know. I don't know if someone tried to take it off before, right there. Or if it's just peeling from old age. Ah, I wish it wasn't. I really want to take it off. <laughs> Uh, it's driving me crazy. It's like, how are we going to work around that, you know? This is another issue. See these rust areas here? We've got to figure out how to get these cleaned up. Mm, a lot of issues, guys. A lot. The truck has some issues, too. <laughs> Uh, all right, I want to get some more stuff done, stuff that's pretty easy. I'm going to scrape all this black stuff on. This is just like a sealer, I guess. It held the plastic on or the paper that was here, like a vapor lock, moisture barrier. Um, I want to get all this stuff off. Here. It's just like a gooey tar sealer. All right, we got most of it off. Not too bad. There's some more in here. I'm gonna get as much as I can off. And it's kind of sticky. Get that off of there. Got the other side to do.
All right. Keep working on that. We have pretty much got everything stripped out of here. There's just a few little, some clips here. I wanna make sure I get these labeled before I take them out. A couple more little grommets. This one's falling apart. Now, do we need to take this off? We probably need to replace that little piece of, what do they call that thing? I um, forget what that's called. But there's like a nylon something that gets worn out. Place that. Uh, what else? Man, see we got three, these three here. I wanna mark those, put them in a little baggie. Just stuff like that, I'm gonna just double check, get this out of here.
There's another one here. I want to get out. can we do with this guys all right what else anything am i missing anything i think we're pretty close pretty close um i'm gonna spend some time knocking all the uh undercoating off probably won't videotape it because it's all underneath I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get under there. I'll get the needle, needle scaler and uh, some different, it's just a lot, there's just lots of little detail stuff, like getting all this, like getting all the undercoating off. It's gonna take time and it's all underneath here. It's under the whole cab. Um, I'm not sure if this is an issue or not. It's like the body mount area here, you know. We're gonna have to blast that, scrape it down, and see if we can save it. Hopefully we can, hopefully we just clean this up and this is strong enough. I think it will be, hopefully. But yeah, look at all this. All this undercoating is gonna come off. And there's tons of it. And it's, some of it's harder to get off than others. So I'll probably spend the next day or so getting all that off and just getting this thing as clean as possible. Get the doors off, maybe get these off, let me know. I'll wait until you guys respond about taking these. These are like the fender, whatever, inner fender holder thingamajigs. And I think maybe the, the hood connects up here somehow, I forget. Do these need to come off? Should we just leave them and blast around them? Doors, I'd like to take the doors off. What do you think? What do you think about the body tag? Can we take that off? Um, give me some comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, you guys get the idea. I'll be here for a while. Check back in later. Wish me luck. See you in a couple days. Later. Sometimes you just gotta step away from a project and look at some of the other projects that are Hanging out, waiting patiently. Picked this up a few months ago. Pretty good price. Uh, you know, 
1500 bucks. It's trashed. It needs everything. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, if we could get... If we could resist the temptation to completely tear it apart. Um, which would probably be very difficult. Because I like taking things apart. And it needs everything. It needs everything, guys. Pretty cool. It's all here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, we're missing a driver's seat or the passenger seat. I think they're both the same. And look at the seat. Look how roached out that seat is. I mean, this thing. The good thing is the dog legs here and through here are pretty good. They get a little rough here, but we might be able to clean this up. Yeah, the floor is roached out, but it's not completely roached out. Maybe we could save it, you know? Could we just make this a, a beater driver? Get the engine done. <laughs> Come on, guys. You got to use your imagination here a little bit. Not sure how bad the wind's blowing. Well, I apologize. It's a little rough. <laughs> Just a little bit. Look at this. Oh, God. Probably shouldn't have bought this one. Pretty bad, guys. Woo. At least the doors <laughs> open and close, kind of. Wow. Yeah, it's it's rough. It's rough, man. We got some silverfish in there. She's pretty rough, guys. Look at this door. The door won't even shut. The door is all messed up. It got hit over here. It got hit here pretty bad, which probably pushed that in, which is why the door won't shut. It's really kind of sad, but probably not worth fixing um, unless you had you know a lot of time and money gas tank is probably completely rusted out this thing is rough man I thought rusty was bad this thing is real bad Whew. rusty's bad too but this thing is just mm-mm-mm it's too bad. We got the Bronco out there and the sea monster. Let's go see if the Bronco will start. That's my new car, little Honda Civic. It's a great little car. I was going to get a truck, but uh, I'm going to wait. We're kind of, my wife's in a uh, transition period in her career, and so am I, so the truck is going to be twice as much money. Oh, battery's dead. <laughs> 